Chex Games has caught my attention with a title that I now want to catch your attention with. Starship Captains. This is for two to four players, ages 12 and up, and should take you about 40 to 100 minutes to play. Welcome aboard and congrats on the promotion. Yes, your new Starship is ready to embark on its first big voyage. Just scrap off some of the rust and she'll do you fine. And that crew, it might look a little green around the edges, but they're your crew now. Make us proud. The stars are calling and adventure awaits. As newly promoted Starship Captains, players are in command of their first Starship and hungry to prove themselves in galaxy full of space pirates, grumpy old androids, ancient artifacts, and interplanetary adventures. In this 2-4 player Euro-style game which mixes action selections and engine building, you'll manage a diverse crew of cadets, ensigns, androids, and officers each with a different special role and capabilities. By earning medals, you can promote and train your crew for even greater effectiveness. Similarly, you can upgrade your ship with powerful engine building technology for maximum synergy. What will you do with this enhanced crew and ship? Explore an ever-shifting galaxy full of dangerous pirates and interplanetary missions in order to boost your reputation with three distinct galactic factions for bountiful rewards. Do you have what it takes to definitely command your crew and become the best captain in the cosmos? <laughs> we'll see. So there you go. There's a description from the publisher themselves, and it did catch my attention. The artwork, the style. The, I mean, this, this, and I've seen so many other people mention this. This is not Star Trek. This is not a, especially next generation. This is not a Star Trek uh, uh, IP or franchise or items or concepts at all, but. It is influenced by Star Trek. The look, especially by Next Generation, right? But it's not. It's not. But it feels that way. But it's not. But it is not. <laughs> so, honestly, th th there's not been, compared to other things I do gaming uh, radars for, there hasn't been an overabundance of everything I've seen uh, on this compared to a lot of the others that I usually do, uh, but it was still enough to catch my damn attention, which is why we're here now, my friends. Uh, the the Euro-style aspect of this game uh, has my attention. It, it, uh, it reminds me, at least vaguely, uh, maybe less, maybe more, but at least vaguely, it does uh, remind me of Lords of Waterdeep, uh, where you're sending out the adventurers, in this case, you're sending out different color uh, officers, well, not the, the officers, the, the, the cubes uh, that represent them. Uh, so you have red ones that are good for movement, blue ones, research, yellow ones, combat. They can all do levels of repair. And then there's like a gray one I, I, I read about, which is just repair, which is all they do. So you use these these officers, ensigns, you use these these individuals in order to, to push yourself forward and get things done on the ship. And another thing I'm really seeing everywhere about this is how this is an amazing captain simulation, making you literally feel like the captain of a starship, like Kirk or Picard or, or anyone. <laughs> You're uh, going to have enough crew and, and orders and missions, and it, it doesn't have the franchise name, but apparently it's going to make you feel that way. I see that there's a, a reward system of upgrading your, your officers uh, in order to be able to do different tasks or even change completely one task to another they're doing. I like this. I like the idea that they're growing and changing. It adds on a, a little bit of that RPG feel uh, with advancement, and that's a bonus. It's also good because now you're changing your styles and your strategies. As your officers uh, are going to change their abilities, then you are naturally going to change your strategy as you're going into each new mission uh, with them. And that's pretty cool. It's going to keep you mentally on your feet. We find the same thing uh, with the officers that we find in the ship, apparently, that you're able to conduct uh, experiments and research uh, on things and your vessel and improve your vessel, add things onto your vessel. So uh, it is also growing. Besides you and your abilities, your crew, what they can do, what they can't do. Now also, we're adding into this, I say we, like, I had nothing to do with this. Uh, being added into this is the fact uh, that your ship itself is evolving and changing and getting better just as everyone else is. So the whole idea of this of this Captain Simulator's really it's really grabbed me by the beard. <laughs> it's it's really gotten my attention and I'm I'm really enjoying the idea, the concept of playing a game like this where I I, I am 
the captain of the starship. I'm the one giving orders. I'm the one telling the crew what to do. And then when you add in a competitive mode with this, where well, other players are also doing the same thing to try to boost up their reputation. Now, I saw there's some player-player combat, but the game doesn't really revolve around that. There's, a lot of people say there's usually more than enough space where you are that you're probably not going to encounter another player, I guess, unless you're going to just be hardcore aggressive. Uh, but I, I don't know how that works in reputation. You're going around killing the other officers. <laughs> But everything about this really want, wants, it wants to be played, it wants to be tried, it wants to be experienced. And that's why it's on, uh, it's, it's, why it's on my radar. So go buy Checks Games, go check out, get more information, inform yourself, and find out if this is something for you. Go check out Starship Captains.